Hey guys, we saw in the last video how to create a JSON object out of a string that contains uh, JSON-like data, basically a dictionary, and we spoke about the double quotes issue and how JSON uh, prefers that. We saw how to load it using the load s uh, function, how to access the data, how to uh, transform it back into JSON format, and how to create a data frame out of that, so we can manipulate that, save as CSV, and so on and so forth. Let's create this notebook. Uh, I'm sorry, let's close that book, close not notebook, not create the notebook. And what we're going to do now is to, we're going to read data from a JSON file and manipulate it and then write it back to a JSON file. So let's have a look at this simple file that I've created. Uh, a JSON file usually have the contents enclosed into these curly brackets and then you have the key value, the keys, like for example I have here people, goods, color, and style, and then the values. I mentioned before that this is pretty much dic uh, you know, a, a Python dictionary and we can have nested types. So this is, you know, the people uh, key, for example, its value is an array of smaller uh, dictionaries or smaller JSON objects. So this is nested. People is an array of multiple entries. Uh, goods also uh, has a smaller dictionary which has uh, two keys and values, shoes and tops, these are the keys and the values are trainers and coats um, respectively and then we have a key color value blue and then another one that has a small dictionary of two key values, the style is the key and then inside the small dictionary here we have id 101 and make uh, adidas, right? So we can have these nested types, that's not uh, an issue with uh, JSON, it's quite convenient to have that actually. Now let's go back to the uh, Jupyter Notebook and we have this convenient library, the JSON library, if we import it and then here the usual way, the much preferred way that saves us a lot of headaches, saves us you know the the issue of having to close the, the file object when you create it, this with open as uh, construct that we have, right? The open function, if we do shift tab, by default the mode is R for reading and we can specify encoding and so on and so forth, the new line character so on and so forth, you can read more about that as you know we've learned before but now what we're going to do is we're going to open that JSON file and then say here, open it as data file and say data equals json.load so we have this function called load uh, last time we saw load s to load it as a string but now we have load we pass it the file name, you know, this string, this file object that we created, and it will basically deserialize or read uh, the file and load it into this data variable. So we've read this file, this file that we spoke about here, we've loaded it into the data uh, variable, and if I say data now, it'll have the same thing. Uh, one interesting thing about dictionaries, about uh, JSON objects, I'm sure you're, you're familiar with this, is that the order is not important, and you know why is it? Why does it need to be important? We don't need it. We don't need the order because we can ha we can access values using the key uh, values. Okay, so we can access these values using the key values. The order doesn't matter much. Um, now let's say you know we wanted to access, for example, color autocomplete, and it give me back blue. Or one thing we wanted to speak about is, for example. The um, the nested type. So we'll, if we like, we we'll have a look at people, a people entry. Sorry, p. I don't know what's happening to me today. It's people, and if we say, give me the first component, it give me the first record or the first dictionary, right? And then give me the first of the first. I'm sorry, no, the first, and now. I, I tell it give me the first name of the first, so that entry or that rather the value that comes with that key so the first name of the first component and I get Ali or if I ask for the last name I get Mahmoud, if I do that for the first, for the second uh, entry or the second sub dictionary I get Vadi we've seen here it's the second one has ID 2332 um, and you see that first name is Vicky, last name is Vardy and um, that's how basically we access these elements you know, notice now it's of index of index of index and the process continue 
if the process continues, if you, you basically you go deeper, if you have more and more nested types, I hope the idea makes sense. And you can actually loop through them if you wish. You can loop through them. Um, I mean, one thing we can do here is, for example, we can say uh, for i n data dot oh, sorry in range. Yeah, so what we can do is we can loop through through these nested objects. What I can do here is I can say for i in range between zero and the length of data dot people print data of people of i. So it'll loop through this the people entry. It loop through these values one by one. This is the first one dictionary. The the second dictionary loop through them, and it'll print out basically those contents. If I run this. Then it print out the first one and the and then the second one. If I if I wanted to print something more specific, like for example the ID of each entry, I can do that and it give me the IDs only. I hope the idea makes sense that we can use index of 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 of. We can go as as deep as we want uh, to access elements or access values inside our JSON objects. Okay, enough talking now of of reading. Let's assume that we've done some manipulation, maybe we've assigned new values, done some uh, modifications and wanted to save that. Well, what we can do here is we can use the same uh, uh, method open or the, the function open. We spoke about the mode before. By default, it's read, but we can set it now to w, which is write, set it as output file, and then I can say use the json dump function now, json dump, and I just pass it, um, I pass it where I want to save the file and I'm sorry, I pass it the JSON object that I have, the data, and the out file object basically, which is referring or uh, pointing to this file here. I, I, pass, I specified here and it'll save it for us. Okay, so the JSON object and the out file object that we created when we use the open. If I run that, it should run automatically. And then if I wanted to display this data dot text it'll be the JSON object that I've done. I mean, one thing we can do here is we can go to let's have a look at uh, the file. Where is it? Uh, let's, for example, change color. Let's change color so we make sure it works. I don't want. I didn't want this video to take too long. But let's say uh, add a new cell and say data quickly of color. You notice if I do tab, it completes. It's blue, I can say, let's make it red, right? Now, if I save and then have a look at the contents of this file, you notice the color now is red, okay? The color now is red. We've updated uh, the JSON object and we've saved it to a text file. Of course, I can say data.json if I want to make it, you know, more meaningful. That's not a problem, it's only text, so it's fine. Data dot JSON and we're fine, right? Same thing. Okay, let's stop here. It's taken too long, and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.